go Hello and welcome to a new series with 14 Karma Zero and it's another how-to series and of course I'm going to kick it off with a how to get rich scheme it's just like the top thing that people want to do in this game because everyone in town is doing it like literally if if you're under the level like 15 here you're trying to get rich okay and everyone's stealing and blah 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 but I'm gonna show you two in this one episode one isn't exactly a get rich quick but it's more of a get rich and do other things kind of thing you know but hey if you like the video smash that like button again and again and again and again if you can do it one once I think you can only do it once but one of the ways is see everyone in town is doing it what level is he 10 wearing what kind of armor Daedric no what armor is that I have no idea but regardless so the thing that most people do is they go back to their Skyrim days or other like Marwind or Fallout or those days and they just steal they just straight up steal just mine 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 and then also mine see and especially in Davin's Watch here in Davin's Watch you are going to see someone get into a fight because they accidentally stole something and they didn't exactly mean to see I almost got caught that way this way is kind of finagling <laughs> and there is a guard patrolling somewhere there's always a guard patrolling somewhere right here there she is always walking stops here and there but you steal these things Okay, best option would be to steal the metal things like gauntlets, helms, cuirasses, uh, sabatons. And be careful right here because he can see you at a certain point. I just don't remember where that point is. Okay, grab. See, detected. Just that slight movement and he saw me. Now this this one right here is actually really easy to get. Now, mind you, you won't be getting steel like I am right now. Like a steel sword. Steel great sword. If you're just starting the game, you're going to be getting iron. But that's because you're just starting the game. That's what you're going to use. So, my advice is just take it. Okay. Now my inventory is full. <laughs> this is the part that's a little bit annoying. Okay. Now most people would say take it down to the refugee, uh, the the thieves guild. Okay, I can never remember the name of the place. It's the outlaws refuge. I think, is it? Yeah. Davin's Watch Outlaws Refuge. Now you can go down there. You can sell all these things, but you won't get as much money from it. Not until you start like stealing orcish things, like the things that are made out of orc materials. Not right now. Probably after this video. But the thing that is better, because it's a twofer, you come in here, and in order to increase your blacksmithing or your clothing or your woodworking, you deconstruct it or you look like an idiot on the cam on uh, video like I do because I have to go sell some crap that I don't really need so uh, that 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 and that okay so now that I have some space in my inventory, <laughs> exactly for you decraft it. That's all you do. Just no. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess that's kind of known, but don't get caught. That's you know, it's just 
you know, in there. But yeah, you decraft all this, and you sell the ingots themselves. And if you look down here in the corner, it's also increasing my blacksmithing skill. Now, I personally did this for a good long minute. Okay. At first, I, I sold it down to the thief dudes down in the... Rev uh, I, I forgot already. What is it? Outlaw's Refuge. You take it and you sell it straight to them. I, I did that at first. I was like, that ain't very useful. No then I thought about it. Well, how like the reason how I steal things in Skyrim is... Um, no one. I steal things that I can use, make other things, and then sell those things. Now, that isn't very profitable in this game. See, because I, I did the math, uh, taking like six ing iron ingots and selling it for four gold when they're actually worth two gold. Eh, it just doesn't work out in my head. So I just sell the entire quantity, and that was, I don't remember how much that was. Oops. But I'll do it again over here. Deconstruct full leather boots. Now, you won't be getting as much as I am because I am a higher level. But I didn't think to make this video until now, of course, because I'm smart and all that goodness and stuff. But... Oh, and a uh, quick little tip, if you want to just increase your skill, you can decraft it and then recraft it. Well, I can't do it here because I don't have that kind of skill. But, yeah, you just take the items, you sell the flax for 44, hide for 12, jute for 20. Okay? Now this is emptying out your inventory and selling all the stuff you could be using on other things so if you're gonna choose like lightweight light armor you know keep the jute keep the flax keep the this keep the that but if you're gonna go with heavy armor try and keep the steel and the iron and the order calcum and the I don't remember what the rest of it's called um yeah you just break it down and sell it it's all you do what business brings you here? Oh yeah, down at the bottom. Sanded oak. 16. Okay. Now, there is one other way to get rich quick. Now, this one's a little bit more finagly. You gotta be a little bit better at thieving. So, easy... Easy ways to do this is, um... You can pickpocket people, but my advice would be don't pickpocket until it like shifts to a green color and it's at least 75 when you're first starting the game. Because there's an issue with the guards and I don't understand why, but they like hate you forever if you don't pay. <laughs> but, see, cheaply bound journal. I already have one in my inventory because I was doing this in another town and I thought, you know what? Yeah. It's worth 30. One item, worth 30. Hidden, you take it. Ooh, there's trunk. Canteen cozy. You sneak. Now, I haven't really done much with my sneaking wrong one. I've improved light fingers. So, like, my hiding isn't even any better. So, I'm still technically a rookie at this. <laughs> But, see, that was 30 gold, just, well, 60 gold, because I stole two things, just right in my pocket, just done. Now, some of the better places to hit up are the ones up here, because there's just, there's bigger buildings, so there's a better chance of you getting crap. Because this is a, what is this? That That's an inn, that's the mage's college, and there's nothing in there to steal. I don't think there is, but I'm not going to go in there. Okay, so the watch house. Nothing in the main room. There's a desk right in the middle. It's empty. Good job. Bookshelf can't take. Oh, 
if you're going for like provisioning or something, I always find like provisioning in that book, back, book, book, backpack, every time. I don't know why. No, not every time. You just, Michael, shut up. Okay. They, nah. Okay. Outdated map of Tamriel. Worth 30 gold. Crouch. No one nearby. Take it. Done. 30 more gold. What are we up to? 90. 90 now. Yeah. Okay. Now. Upstairs. I don't want to lick it up. Really do not. Desk. Nothing good. Well, if you need lockpicks, that's good, but I don't. Another canteen cozy. Another 30 gold. So, 120 now. Just make this go by a little bit faster. Nothing. Okay. Now, we go downstairs. The fast way. Also painful way. <laughs> Yibber mate. Not worth a whole lot. Faded wanted poster. Worth 30 gold. That would be 140 gold? Right? Right. 140. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> there was someone else hiding. I was <laughs> that was messing with my head. Crate, your roommate, not worth much. I know a guard or two. Yeast, not worth much. On its own. It's on its own, it's literally worth nothing. So, made 140 gold so far. How long have we been going? 13 minutes? 14 minutes? Just watch it switch over. Okay, so that place is done. No. Now, something about the Mages College is that there's a chance you can find a safe box I think it is I think it's a safe box but here's an urn ash not really worth crap sack rose not worth crap barrels are empty I never knew that about niches have to try that next time I'm in the field it's a bookshelf is that a desk nope bookshelf 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 yeah see safe box if you're good with the lock picking, you could do this. So there's no one watching, right? Okay. By the way, don't get caught with all this. I told my friend how to do this, and he like he just about broke his controller because he got pissed off with the guards. He got a um, 500 gold bounty. See this one, one item for 100 gold. See. And you get achievements. <laughs> Which I've been trying to get a lot of achievements because you apparently get dies for that. And I really, really, really want a red. Really, really want a red. Okay. Here's a box. Oh, yeah. That's because he only had that thing in there. And that's the only thing it's supposed to have. Shh. Nothing. Okay. Now down here is a bit more finagly, to say the least. Okay. So, never mind. It really isn't that finagly. I guess it was because I was trying to pickpocket people. What is the likeliness? Aware. Aware. Yeah, no. See, even with my pickpocketing up one skill point, I'm, I'm still not going to do the 50. Ever. <laughs> okay, so now we're done with here. Now, actually, I want to go check how many items I actually have. Um, materials? Is that the one? No. Supplies. Treasure. So, two, four, five, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 items. And I'm going to cut right here so I don't look stupid as I'll get out on camera. Because I'm going to count this. So if my math isn't absolutely tor 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 torrible, 
terrible. We're going to make like 530 off of this. And it ain't that many items. Didn't take me a whole long time. Whole long time. Hold, hold. I'm good at English, okay? I know the English language. It's, it's a language that people speak. Okay? Now that's half a thousand dollars. And 11, 12, thir 13 items. That's... But it's not even, um... It's just under one-fifth. So, like, I'd say 23% of the amount you can sell these guys. Because you, you can only sell the, to them 50 items per 24-hour period. So, selling this would be... You sell all that. Now I'm up to 3,000. I remember what I was at. But, still... That was a whole lot of money, and a whole shorter time, and there you have it. Half a thousand dollars, five hundred and thirty dollars. Gold, five 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 hundred and thirty gold. In what? T ten minutes, I think. Maybe five. I don't know. But I think I'm gonna call that the episode because that's pretty much all you need to know for that and mind you you can repeat that in any town literally any town because they all have the same things going on some like Ebenhart is a tighter packed town so it's a little bit harder to do so if you liked the video smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video